duplicatable. Okay, so uh, Alan, let's talk about social media. People wanted to know, uh, they're asking me, am I gonna learn about social media here? Uh, could you guys share a couple tips about what you've learned, what you're doing on social media, what not to do? Yeah, if, I, if you wanna add anything, feel free to jump in. But um, I, I don't have a, a ton to say. Well, I actually do, but I won't. Um, what, I, what I wanna say, I guess, most importantly about social media is I don't know it all. I don't even know 80% of it. I'm learning and it keeps changing. And so I keep learning, but I don't get hung up in social media. Like I don't, it's not how I build my business. It's not how we build our business. It is a, um, just like being, if you could be this picture perfect fitness model, like you stepped out of a magazine, that in, there's, 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 there's those around and they're not building, that doesn't build your business. It will enhance building your business if you look like that but it doesn't build your business. I know some of them, and they, they, they want to build a business, and they're not. So I guess the point is social media in and of itself won't build your business. It's just another enhancer. Just like being living an active, healthy life is an enhancer, right? Looking healthy is an enhancer. Social media is an enhancer. So that's my disclaimer is I don't really, I'm not a social media expert. I don't claim to be. What I want to be an expert is in is building relationships. And if, and if we will and making friends. And if we will desire to build relationships and make friends, everything else will fall in place. The training is there to learn everything else along the way. But so social media, I want to say this. If whatever you're doing on social media is working or contrary to anything I say, then don't listen to me. Do what's working. But if you've been doing social media for a while and you're not getting any leverage from it, then maybe you might want to listen to what I'm saying. Um, so the first couple things I would like to share is, is get set up properly on, on I, I'll keep saying Facebook, I mean it is the largest social platform on planet Earth, so I'm going to talk about the largest social platform, and I'm also going to say, whichever one you use, just master one before you, you know, be a master of one instead of a master of none, and, or a jack of all trades and a master of none, or whatever that is. Really get good at one, I would recommend, than um, worrying about trying to feel like, I gotta be on Twitter, and I gotta be on Instagram, and you know, LinkedIn, and Facebook, like, don't try to do all that. You, it, won't, it won't go well. Um, and if you're great at all four, then do all four, whatever, that's fine, or five. Uh, but anyway, so, the first thing, though, is just get set up right. Like, realize that your profile, I'm gonna keep talking Facebook, but this can apply to anything, is, is your resume. I mean, it's what, I mean, when people meet me, I mean, I was in someone's home in California not long ago and the, and the husband, meeting with the husband and wife and they might be in this room and I'm not sure because I can't see everyone real quick, but um, the husband said, you know, I, before you came here, I want to know who was coming, so I checked you out on Facebook. I mean, I looked online. We all do that, don't we? If you want to know, if you want to know what I'm all about or whoever's all about, now it may not, it may be fake, right? It may or may not be real because... Right, that's a whole nother issue. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look on social media and we're gonna look at that wall and it's, we're gonna judge like that, what that person's about. Again, it might be right, it might be wrong, but we're gonna make a judgment based on what we see. So what do you want people to see? That's your resume. Okay, that's the first thing. And the second thing is, I wrote a couple notes so I wouldn't forget. And the second thing is what you post, think of it as like your TV channel. Now, I won't put you on the spot because there's surely some people in here that would raise their hand if I said, do you sit around watching infomercials? <laughs> because I know some, someone must because they wouldn't do it if they didn't, people didn't watch it and buy, right? So some people watch infomercials. I don't, and I know most of you don't. Most of you don't. And like commercials on channels, you know, you don't, you don't sit there and watch commercials necessarily. You wouldn't go out of your way to do that. So don't let whatever you post be like a commercial. No one wants to, we want to flip that channel. I want to flip the channel during the commercials and come back to the content I want to see. So deliver the content when you post that your friends and your network wants to see. And what is that? It's you. It's, it's your life. It's everything about. And if everything you post is Neil life, what kind of life is that? And if everything you post is always about your dog, your dog, your dog, your one dog, and that's all you, what kind of life is that? Like hopefully it's a balanced life, right? I mean, it's your life and everyone's different. And some people are, you know, or dogs is a big part of their life. And that's going to connect with so many people. So talk about your dogs. I wasn't putting that down. I'm just saying, don't just only show one part of your life. Like, try to show all of your life. And if uh, we're afraid to expose our life to other people, 
online or offline, it's going to be challenging building this business. If we're afraid to invite people into our homes and into our lives and online and offline and just let it go, um, it's going to be a challenge to build, to build a business, at least to build a sizable business. Can I add to that? Um, one thing we do, we focus on when we um, post something is we call it the three E's. So we either entertain, educate, or empower. So that's what we focus on. Um, and you can go into that if you... Yeah, and if I post, if Nicole posts something about our child, that might be entertaining to some and it's not to others. So we can't entertain everybody, right? But your vibe attracts your tribe. And I, you know, we want to post people, we want to attract people that are, that like us. And not everyone likes us. And that's okay. We're okay with that. So we're who we are. And, and the ones that like our culture, that's the kind of people that we're going to attract. And those are the people we want to attract, right? So, um, yeah. I don't know. There's, there's more I could say, Josh, but, but those are kind of the basics. I don't know if there's other questions you might have specifically. Um, again, I, I guess one more thing I will say is, and it kind of ties into what I said, just I would encourage everyone in your social media, here's three things I would really recommend. Number one, don't forget that you're using it, again, I already said this, to enhance building your business. Well, how do you build a business? You build relationships. How do you build relationships? Step one, you connect or build rapport with people. Every relationship has to start there. So if you think of Facebook or social media as, I'm gonna sell my product or service or, or recruit on it, it's the whole wrong mindset. And don't do anything online that you won't do offline. If you're not going to stand if you're not going to stand out, you know, outside your church or on the street corner or, or wherever with a sign that says whatever, then don't post that on social media. <laughs> Does that make sense? I mean, it's really kind of common sense, but it's really the most uncommon of all senses. So, <laughs> so I'm going to help you out. <laughs> I need the help too. Um, I've done some stupid stuff. But that's that's a big tip right there is like post what you would do in real life. And don't post what, if you wouldn't do it in real life, if you wouldn't say it in real life, then don't post it. And the other thing is, when you do post, when we post about our business or our product, our goal is not to sell it. Our goal is to create curiosity and to attract. And the analogy I love to use is, I love to fish and, and I like to hunt. And so there are two different approaches. I mean, you can sit in a tree stand and hunt, and in Washington State here, where we used to live, you can actually unless they've changed it, you can put corn on the ground and, and bait and attract, attract a deer to you, to your tree stand. In other states, in most states, you can't. But So I'll say for the most part, though, hunting is more going after the prey, right? Which is what we kind of naturally tend to do in this business. And fishing, you, you, unless you're spearing it, you're always attracting. You're attracting with real bait, fake bait, a lure. I mean, you're, you're putting something out there that they go, I, that looks good to me. And so I like to think about that when you post, too, when you're going to post about the business. I mean, I posted a post. It was just a silly, not silly, just a post of our pictures on the air, our children on the airplane flying here. I didn't even, I did, I did chose not to even say we're flying to a Neil Life convention. I said we're flying to my favorite kind of business conference, one for the whole family. Well, I'm hoping that, that and I've been so busy I haven't gone back to look. But I'm hoping I get uh, some likes and some comments and maybe even a private message of what, what kind of business conference is for the whole kind of family. Now, if I just said I'm going to a Neo Life convention, I more than likely probably am not going to get that. You guys can decide if you're getting that, if you're doing that. But probably what's going to happen is people go, Neo Life, Google, Google, tell me what Neo Life is. Oh, now I know what Neo Life is. It's like Herbal Life. I got it. Okay. And I'll never, ever get to meet them. I'll never get to talk to them. They'll never comment. And by the way, when they like your post or when they comment on your post, that's a lead. That's a lead. And we've done detox things and we'll, every single like and every single comment. And this takes time. You go back and I've sent them messages. Every single person. Hey, uh, Josh, thank you for the like on my video. I'm glad you watched it. That's all I said. I'd have people replying back to me going, yeah, tell me about this detox. How do you get it? How much does it cost? They didn't contact me. I would have never heard from them but I thank them for liking a video or like, you know, thank you for the comment. Do you know, just building a relationship. And now I started a dialogue and I'm sorry, last thing. Then where the money's at and where the impact's at is not on the post. It's on Facebook Messenger, text, or hey, let me give you a call. That's where it's at. 
So it's just a means to an end to build a relationship and to get that conversation from the comments to let's take it over to Messenger and have a talk or text or phone. I, I think that's probably good, huh? Yeah, are you guys getting good content? Is this good? Okay.